Hello loves and welcome to my channel. First I want to thank you for watching all my videos, liking, commenting and subscribing and referring your videos to your friends because knowing that I'm helping you is what keeps me going and I'm very happy that you choose to be healthier and better every day by watching my videos and I'm really proud of you because this is exactly the idea of my channel to create healthy mindset, healthy habits and to help you be better in every way possible. <music> Today we are going to talk about something that everybody is suffering from on a daily basis, including me, and it's stress. With a pinch, how stress can actually make you look older and make you age faster. We're going to get into topics like the main reason of stress. And at the end of the episode, I'm going to give you a protocol on how to manage stress because we cannot stop stress in general, but we can manage how we react. In this way, we are not going to let the stress affect our life. By the way, I'm drinking a very special tea here. Everybody knows about it. But later in the episode, I'm going to tell you why this tea is so important against stress. For some of those tips, hacks and personal stories that I'm going to share now are not a medical advice. They are not a diagnosis or a medical treatment. So if you feel the need to go to a doctor or a therapist to help you about it, there's nothing to be worrying about because there's nothing embarrassing about it. You should actually be happy that you're realizing that you have a problem and you're actually taking control over it. We all have problems and it's always better to acknowledge them than to deny them. Stress is so bad that it can be the main reason of some medical conditions like type 2 diabetes, depression, problem with the thyroid function and I personally have problems with my thyroid function. So let's first clear something out. Physiological stress is different than the psychological stress. Psychological stress is when in our daily life situations exceed our conscious capabilities. A very interesting study shows that our biological age increases because of stress, which means that we're starting to age faster on a cellular, cellular level if we're surrounded with many stress factors. But if we reduce or eliminate those stress factors, our biological age can go back to normal. Those stress factors don't only affect our biological age, but our appearances too, which means that with too much stress, your hair can start getting white. My mom has always told me, stop stressing because your hair is going to turn white which is very accurate actually. If you reduce stress and eliminate all those factors, your body has the amazing ability to regenerate and bring your body function to normal. It's scientifically proven that stress destroys our DNA cells and causes a premature aging. Trust me, before I had very, very big problem with stress, I even had panic attacks. I was constantly I had really, really big panic attacks and I never want to go back there and I don't wish to anybody to go through it. And if you have been through it, I am sorry, we're going to work on it. And on a daily basis, I did things that helped me be calm and manage my stress levels. Things like healthy eating, doing sport, meditation practices and healthy sleeping. And all those things lower the biological aging of our organism. We have two types of aging. So we have biological age and chronological chronological age. The chronological age is when you have a birthday and you know you put all those candles on your birthday cake, you're 5, 10, 25, those numbers are your chronological age. But the biological age is actually the age of our cells, which means that our biological age can be more or less than our chronological age depending on lifestyle factors. I think that we've all heard about this 45 years old guy, Brian Johnson, that is millionaire and is investing two million dollars every month because he wants to reverse his biological age to an 18 year old if you haven't checked it go check it there's a actually a um, series with him right now in netflix and they're very interesting i'm watching them too we all know that stress is making us age faster but let's get into it how it does affect our biological age first something that many of us know when we stress there's a biological reaction which releases hormones from one side cortisol which we know is the stress hormone and from the other side adrenaline we all have experienced adrenaline for example when our heart is beating very fast and we're <laughs> You know, for example, when you're getting on a roller coaster and you have a lot of adrenaline, that's why I don't go. I hate roller coasters. I feel like I'm going to die on it. But yes, this is actually what adrenaline is. And this is one of the ways stress damages our body. And second, we have oxidative stress. And oxidative stress is caused by every harmful substance and pollution from the environment. All those radiation chemicals like smoking, for example, even if you're not smoking and just the cigarette smoke is around you, this causes oxidative 
oxidative stress and it's actually something that damages our DNA, our cells and our proteins. And this is happening when our body doesn't have enough antioxidant activity and when we don't have enough antioxidants, we don't have the capacity to neutralize the harmful things that are caused from oxidative stress. And that's why it's very, very important to eat foods very rich in antioxidants like berries, especially blueberries, they are the richest in antioxidants. Nuts and seeds like almonds, walnuts and chia seeds. Spinach is very rich in antioxidants and veggies like broccoli, Brussels sprouts and cauliflower. And then of course fruits like apples, oranges and red grapes too. Before I forgot, green tea, as I said earlier, dark chocolate and that's why I even love drinking matcha so much because it has the most antioxidants, even more than the blueberries. And to be honest, there are many more foods rich in antioxidants, but the list is so long. So if you want it, just go in the link in the caption of this video. And the third way we cause aging through stress is when we damage our telomeres. And what exactly are telomeres? It's very interesting. They are protective caps in the corner of the DNA of the chromosomes. And their main function is to prevent the loss of genetic information. And of course, to protect chromosomes from damage during cell development. Vision. For fifth grade, we have all learned that inside of the chromosomes is the DNA material of the cells. So each time a cell divides, the telomeres slightly shorten. And when they become too short, the cell cannot longer divide properly. And then it either enters a stage of aging or pure death. And every harmful factor in the environment and of course our lifestyle destroys our telomeres. And in the medical field, which is very interesting, doctors can know your lifespan only by looking at your telomeres and seeing how short or long they are. And of course studies have shown that when we are exposed to stress or depression, our telomeres become shorter. So those are all the three ways we age and the connection between stress and aging. But the interesting thing is when we eliminate and erase all those factors, stress factors from our life and body, our body has the ability to regenerate and return to normal organism function. For example, our cells can start producing more antioxidants, so like this we are going to neutralize the damage from oxidative stress, which is clinically proven. Now let's talk how we can actually reduce our biological age because lowering our biological age is equal to lowering the risk from Alzheimer, dementia, cardiovascular diseases, autoimmune metabolic diseases and so on. And our biological age is an indicator of how healthy we are in our lifespan. Many studies show that to actually lower our biological age is through lifestyle. And Professor Dennis Nobel is a biologist from Oxford who has a project called Oxford Longevity Project. So he advises us to have regular physical activity, but as well, of course, to have good sleeping habits because then we can actually relax and regenerate. And how is this happening? When we're sleeping, we're in a fasting mode because we're not consuming any food. Toxins and all the food that we have consumed during the day are destroying our epithelial lining of the gastrointestinal tract. And when we sleep, our epithelial lining is actually recovering because then the cells are separating more intensely. So healthy sleep is very, very important for our regenerational process and not only for our muscles and our stomach but when we're sleeping this is the only time that our brain actually relaxes and to say it with short words when we sleep we actually regenerate and detoxify so if you think oh i'm going to drink this cold press juice and i'm going to detoxify my body no you're detoxifying your body only when you sleep and you fast and of course all of this that i'm saying is nothing new but we all know that sleeping habits physical activity eating good food is very very important but of course it's hard to apply them to our daily life too that's why i'm making those videos to educate you motivate you and together build your discipline and habits we cannot change what's happening around us but we can change the outcome and there's one physiotherapy method where we learn how to calm our mind while our body is under stress we're not born of course with those things we need to learn them and we need to practice them you know those needle pads where people step on them with bare foot and they need to try and calm their mind when their body is actually under a lot of pressure and stress because of the pain. They do this so they can practice exactly this to calm their mind while their body is under stress. So when you manifest and talk to yourself, it's literally the same. You need to change your mindset to think like this. There's nothing to worry about in this life. Everything that comes my way is a lesson that I need to learn so I can grow. It's like a level in a game and when I pass it, I'm going to be better and I'm going to be in a better place. If you stress about losing your job, know that a better one is going to come. If you lose your job, don't stress because a better one is going to come and the last one has only been preparing you. If you lose a friend or a boyfriend, don't worry, they just needed to teach you a lesson. Cry it out for a month too, but know that after this, your best friend and 
and the love of your life are going to come. You need to step back and only think about the positive outcome from things in our everyday life. Trust me, in the beginning it's going to be hard, you're going to forget, but it's like everything in life. So if you don't succeed today, try again tomorrow. There is no rush, it's literally like learning a language. You're going to forget many words and make mistakes, but if you don't stop learning it, at the end you're going to master it. So there are three types of stress factor, physical, physiological and mental. And the physiological stress is from things like work, kids, relationships, all those things in our everyday life. Our physical stress is when we're physically tired, cold for example, because outside is too cold and our body is in stress or when we're working out and we're stressing our body too much because we're lifting too heavy weights and this is physical stress. And mental stress, we all know what it is. The interesting thing is that the body doesn't know the difference between physiological and mental stress. So when our body tries to calm us down from those stress factors, the way of calming us are the same ways for physiological and mental stress. Even though I shared all this information until now, I want to mention that stress is not always bad for us. The short form of stress, for example, which is around several minutes, and we have a medium form of stress, which continues around several hours, and then we have a chronic stress, which is around days, weeks, and even months. And exactly this chronic stress makes our body age faster. The short form of stress is actually shown to be healthy because it builds resilience and it teaches us to be adaptable. Because as Darwin has said, the most adaptable person always wins, not the most smart or the most innovative one. So short stress is making us more adaptive in all those changing things in the modern environment. For example, sauna or ice baths or exercises with high intensity for a short amount of time can actually increase our adaptability. For example, professional athletes increase their endurance threshold with high intensity workouts. And as a result, this actually improves their functionality. And like this, they're going to be more successful when the time for the competition comes. So progressive exposure to stressors and having short stress makes us more resilient. There's one study that actually shows that people who have elevated stress levels have actually lower mental capabilities, have reduced mental performance and trouble with their concentration and remembering things. When we stress and release our stress hormone cortisol, we actually increase the inflammation in our body, not only skin-wise, but in our organism too. It destroys the skin barrier and we all know when we're in some kind of a mental stress how always, always pimples are coming. And then we don't feel good in our body and in our skin in general because the glow that we have usually, it's missing. And all those skin conditions like eczema and rosacea are actually increasing when we're under stress. And to reduce the age of our skin, it's very, very, very important to use skincare products with antioxidants inside like vitamin C. Every morning on a clean face, first thing that I put after I wash my face is vitamin C or I cannot start my day. This is a mandatory for me because the antioxidants protect our skin from the environment factors. And after this, it's actually very important to use SPF so we can protect our skin from the sun too. People always try to run away from stress, for example, to go on spa or vacations because they say, oh, I need to run away from work. It's stressing me a lot. But no, we cannot run away from it. We need to manage it ourselves. Our body and mind are sacred and everything that we need to manage stress is actually within us. We don't solve things when we try to run away from them we actually make them a bigger problem to us one supplement that helps us lower cortisol levels is ashwagandha to be honest i'm 50 50 about this supplement because many people have seen great results but me personally i didn't see any results i was actually feeling very tired from it and literally i was waking up feeling tired and many people have actually seen pimples coming from ashwagandha. So it's really this kind of a situation where you need to try for yourself and see if it works for you because if it works, you're going to achieve great results with your cortisol levels because we know when we have very high levels of cortisol, we intend to store fats around the belly area. Magnesium supplements are great for relaxing your body too. Every time before going to sleep, I take two capsules. Cold showers are a great way of dealing with stress too, because when you put very cold water on your body, your stress things, the things that you're stressing about, are the last thing you're going to think about. People that shower with cold water have amazing skin because the blood supply increases. People that do sports, especially low impact workouts, have shown to have lower stress levels. And meditation and breathing exercises help too. You don't need to do a one hour meditation every day, but 
15 minute meditation every day is more than enough. One of my favorite people to listen to is Huberman and he says make two fast inhales from the nose and then followed by a long exhale from the mouth and this you need to repeat for five times. So. Try it for yourself and tell me in the comments if it has worked for you. You can write in YouTube breathing exercises or meditation for reducing stress and many great videos will come and maybe in the future I can make video especially for the breathing exercises and meditations that I do that has helped me very much but I have so many things that I want to share and show you and I don't know which one to do first, to show you first but we have a long time and a long way to go I have planned many videos and I'm not going anywhere, don't worry but next week I'm going to upload a special waves and sounds for lowering your cortisol levels and you can listen to them whenever you want before falling asleep or when you feel stressed and please let me know what you want to see from me more what you want to learn about I have planned that our next videos are going to be first what I eat in a week where I'm going to show you my daily meals, everything that I eat without restrictions and healthy because of course I eat many whole foods but of course sometimes I eat pizza, pasta, burgers. Tonight my boyfriend is going to make tortilla burgers which are going to be basically tortilla with ground beef, one slice of cheddar, tomato, onion and some homemade side fries in the oven so you see i don't restrict myself and i'm going to show you how i do it so you can do it too in the second video then after this or before this i don't know how i'm going to do it it's actually going to be my skincare routine how i manage to have such a good skin how i manage to keep it like this all my skincare tips skincare diet and retinol for beginners everything and i'm very thankful to every one of you for taking your time to share your ideas and watching my videos i'm sending you a lot of love hugs and kisses and until next time